So my EVGA RTX 3090 decided to play hide and seek, and it's really good at hiding. Picture this. I'm all set for an epic gaming session and bam, my RTX 3090 goes MIA. No signal, no detection nada. It's like it vanished into the void of my PC case. I tried every trick in the book, reseated it, updated drivers, even gave it a pep talk. Still no dice. So I did what any desperate gamer would do. I turned to the almighty internet. That's when I stumbled upon Fraser from Graphics Card Repairs. The guy's a GPU whisperer. I packed up my rebellious card and shipped it off to him. Now let's see if Fraser can work his magic and bring my EVGA RTX 3090 back from the abyss. Stay tuned, fellow gamers, over to Fraser. Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this EVGA GeForce RTX 3090 FTW3 and uh, this card is reported that it's not getting detected. So uh, the card was sent to us from Bahrain and uh, we are going to take a look and see how best we can fix this card. So the user says that he's tried everything but nothing has worked. So let's go ahead and start with the disassembly. Okay, so the card has been disassembled. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can find anything obvious with the naked eye. And uh, if not, let's put it under the microscope. So first thing first, uh, let's go ahead and measure the resistance and uh, see what we can find. Let me connect my probes. Let's check. Uh, the 12 volt PCIe and we don't have any shorts 3.3 we don't have any shorts uh, let's take a look at the inductor here so this is the 8 pin uh, 12 volts and we don't have any shorts here the second one no shorts and the third one no shorts again Okay, let's take a look at 5 volts. We have 319 ohm. That means we don't have any shorts there. Let's take a look at 1.8. No shorts here either. Pegs. We have about uh, 6 ohms, which is good enough for pegs. Let's check memory. And we have about uh, 44 ohms, which is good enough. Okay, let's take a look at the back as well. Let's check the one coming from the PCIe. So this is 12 volts from the PCIe and we don't have any shots. So let's check the inductor as well. Okay. So everything looks good here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, connect our power supply and uh, we'll go ahead and test the voltages and check if all our voltages are present. So let me put this all together. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to check first how many amps are getting drawn and we have about 0 0.09 amps. That means our core is not active. So let's check from on the board. Let's measure the, the voltages. Oh, let me connect the crocodile clip. Okay, that looks much better. 
Okay, let's check the voltage again. 12 volts, we have 12 volts. Second one as well, and the third one we do. Okay, let's check 5 volts. And we have 5. Let's check 1.8. And we are missing 1.8. Okay, so 1.8 is missing, uh, probably something or some voltages that activates 1.8 is missing. Let's check PECs. So because we don't have 1.8, we don't have PECs, we don't have core and none of the other voltages after that is going to be there. So uh, let's go ahead and investigate further. Probably let's switch over to the microscope and uh, let's check if we can, uh, you know, find or locate our fault. Let me switch over. Okay, so this is a 1.8 volt inductor. And the controller for this inductor is at the back here. So this is a controller for the inductor, which supplies 1.8 volt. So, uh, We'll check, we'll measure if all our voltages are present on this uh, controller and we'll continue from there. Let me align the, the camera, the microscope first so that I'm in focus. I think that's much better. Okay, so first let's check if our supply voltage is present. So this is pin 2, which is our enable pin and uh, this is the supply pin so let's check if we have our 12 volts oh, sorry the 5 volts let me switch the camera so you can see exactly what i'm doing let's get rid of the glare okay that's much better so let's check if we have our 5 volts here and we do now let's check our enable pin so since we don't have a resistor here let's check here and our voltage is fluctuating so our problem is the enable signal on this controller and that's the cause of our problem so the enable signal comes from the back oh sorry from the front and it comes from this end gate here let me point it out for you so this AND gate is the one responsible to send the enable signal. So let's check on this pin if we have our enable signal. Let me just move this thing here so you, it's visible. So I just want you to take a look at the multimeter there. Let's check the enable signal again on this AND, end gate. It's, it's pin 4 on the AND gate. Let's check the side of the diode. And we have our enable signal coming in there. Let's check the other side. And we have the same fluctuating voltage there. So our diode is a problem. So we will go ahead and replace this diode. So let's prepare the car to do the replacement.
Okay, so I have gone ahead and replaced the diode. Now let's check the voltage again. Let's see if our problem is solved. Okay, let's check here. Let's directly take a look at 1.8. And we do, we have 1.8. Let me show it to you again. Yes, there you go. So our 1.8 is there. Now, because we have our 1.8, we also have our pecs. We have our core. Where is it? There you go. We have our core. And let's take a look at memory. We have our memory as well. So all our voltages are present. So let's go ahead and put this card on a test bench and check if it now gets detected. So our card is on the bench. I'm just going to wait to check if we get any picture, if it gets detected and if it gets a picture, I'm going to put it on my workbench and uh, go ahead and assemble this card. So I'm just waiting. Okay, looks like it's detected. Let's check if we get any picture. Waiting. There you go. So we have our picture. So let's go ahead and turn this thing off, uh, take it to our work area and uh, assemble this card now. So I'm just going to clean this card a bit and assemble it back again. Okay, so the card has been assembled and uh, just giving the final touches and it looks pretty good right now. So I'm going to put this card on the bench, stress test it and uh, check if a card is stable. So let's boot into Windows this time and uh, check, uh, test this card completely. So I'm just going to run a couple of stress tests and we'll take a look how it goes. So we have a picture. And we are in Windows. Let's take a look at the drivers. Let's open Device Manager. There you go. The device is working properly. Let's close this thing and run some stress tests. So thank you for sticking around till the end of this video. I really appreciate your support. Uh, if you found this video helpful or enjoyed watching it, there are a few ways you can support the channel and help us grow. 
first off uh, consider hitting the join button below this video to become a channel member uh, it's a great way to support what i do here at graphics card repairs and you will get some access and some perks and some exclusive content as i add in uh, if a monthly subscription isn't your thing you can also use the thanks button and send a one-time tip directly to the channel every bit helps and it's a fantastic way to show your appreciation and of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I love hearing your thoughts and feedback. It really helps the channel out. Whether it's a question, a suggestion for a future video or just a shout out, your engagement means a lot to me. Lastly, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Graphics Card Repairs and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates or any upcoming repair videos that we release. Sharing this video with your friends or anyone who might find it useful would be a mess of help. Thank you again for your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Cheers.